I'm going to take you through the seven levels of task management in Tana, starting with creating a simple progress tracker, all the way up to building a robust, customized dashboard that automatically updates as new tasks arrive from anywhere in Tana. Level one, basic task list. After you download Tana and sign up for your free trial, go to your Today page on the upper left sidebar. Then click anywhere to start typing your tasks. Hit enter to add a task to each line. Notes show up in Tana as these bullets and work like an outline. Hit tab on a note to indent it under the previous one, creating a new group of notes. You can then hide or reveal those notes depending on whether they're important right now. Let's add a header note, my task tracker. Select all these tasks, hit tab and indent them under here. Now you can add as many details as you want to each or drag and drop to reorganize them by priority. Click into any task by clicking the bullet point next to it to zoom into a full page view of that note. This is a way to focus on that task. You can see the notes it contains or add more details and information. Go back at any time you want. Level two, checkboxes and progress bars. To make these real to-do items, let's add some checkboxes. Right click on any notes bullet and select add checkbox. It's now a task you can check off. You can also add checkboxes quickly using hotkeys. Command enter on Mac or control enter on Windows. Any task you've clicked into will cycle between incomplete, complete or back to a normal note. You can do this one at a time or to mark many tasks complete at once. Once you've added checkboxes to a note, Tana will automatically add a progress bar to the section above to show how many open versus completed tasks you have in that section. This will update as you complete or add new tasks below. If for some reason you want to hide the progress bar, right click and select this option to hide it. Level three, task priorities. Let's use our outline format and progress bars to break this down further. Create four sections, today, this week, later, and done. Add an exclamation point to the beginning of each line to turn them into headings if you like. Now let's use these headings to sort our tasks by priority. Let's start by putting everything in later. Then move the ones you'd like to tackle this week up by dragging them there or by using the hotkeys you see on screen here. Now that we have some this week items, select one or two to accomplish today. Once you've decided, just copy those using your keyboard. Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows, Command V or Control V under the Today section. The tasks you've copied are now in two sections at the same time. Notice that the note bullet looks a little bit different with dotted lines around it. It's not a duplicate of the task, it's the same exact task mirrored in two different places. So if you mark it complete here, it updates in both spots. Once your day ends, you can delete today's tasks and add new tasks for tomorrow. And the original tasks will stay in place in the this week section. Want to keep your tasks in mind as you work elsewhere? Hold shift and click on any task list to open it in a new panel on the right. So you can see your list and update it as you work elsewhere. Or you can open your task list in an entirely new tab by holding command and clicking on the bullet. That way you can jump back and forth throughout your day as you jump between research and work. Level four, super tags. Super tags are like GPS trackers for your notes. A super tag note instantly becomes something new, a project, person, or as we'll see in a minute, a task. Add super tags to instantly categorize, organize, and redirect notes from one spot to anywhere else you need them in Tana. Tana comes with a set of built-in super tags in addition to any you decide to create on your own. And one of those is the task super tag. To use it, select an existing note, hit the pound sign, and type task. Your note is now a task, which automatically adds a checkbox and two new areas called fields, where you can add task relevant information to your note, the task's status and due date. Click into those fields to add information to them. Try setting a task as in progress or adding a due date. We'll talk about fields more soon. You can create a task while you're in a meeting. You can add a task while you're out and about using Tana Mobile. Or you can even capture tasks to a tag directly by just talking directly into Tana. For now, let's try clicking on the task tag on our new task. This will open up a dedicated page for your tasks. If you add a task note to anywhere in your entire workspace, this page will automatically pull the task in, no matter where it was created originally. So later, when you're ready to review your tasks, you won't miss a thing. 
By default, your task page will have three different ways to view your tasks. The first is a task board, which allows you to quickly add new tasks based on their current status or move tasks between those statuses. You can click to expand a task or click the bullet to see a full page view. The task calendar will show you a calendar view of any upcoming tasks where you've set the due date of the task. And the all tasks page is a simple list of every task in your workspace to see everything at a glance. Try tagging all your existing tasks, then visiting the super tag page and use it to categorize your tasks. Drag any tasks without a status into their correct zone on the task board. Drag any tasks without a due date into the task calendar. Quickly review or mark complete any tasks that need it in your master task list. By the way, you can also add your task list to the sidebar for quick access by dragging it here to pin it. Remove it anytime by right clicking to unpin or simply dragging it out to a new spot. Notes that are tagged as tasks will also flow to your Today page. Any open tasks in your workspace will appear in the upper right corner of your Today page and any other daily note. This area only shows your open tasks, so once you complete a task, it will disappear from this view right away. All right, we've completed the first four levels of task management. Each of these are built into Tana from the very first time you open the app. Level five and beyond requires you to look behind the curtain and start creating your own custom systems for Tana. Here we go. Level five, custom feeds and views. On an empty line, hit the forward slash key or right click the note bullet, then select search note. Select your task super tag from the list that appears. Tana will instantly pull in a full list of all notes tagged as tasks from your entire workspace. This is called a live search, and it pulls in notes from Tana based on the details you've specified. The notes it pulls in are references, which can be edited right here and will then update their information anywhere else the notes are located in Tana. You can rename your live search or change how the results look by clicking here, then choosing a new view option under the view as area. You'll see a list, which is the standard bullet format, table, which looks like a spreadsheet with rows and columns, cards, which is a Kanban style board of individual items that can be moved from section to section, and calendar, which allows you to see your items on a calendar according to any dates you've set in your fields. Side menu and tabs are special views we'll discuss later. You can make further adjustments to your custom feeds using filters, grouping, sort, and display. Filters allow you to ask the search to only show certain results, like only showing tasks that aren't yet completed. Groups lets you organize the list based on field information, such as organizing lists of tasks by their status. Sorting allows the search to arrange results in new orders, such as by order they were created, modified, or by their current task due dates. Finally, display changes what information is showed in the view, such as turning on and off whether task status is displayed on calendar view. For now, here is an example of two basic custom feeds. The first is a table view of tasks that are filtered to only show open tasks, not any done tasks. We'll also have the search sorted by status so backlog and in-progress tasks are separated. And then a secondary sort by task due date so that the tasks are arranged in order of their upcoming due date after being sorted into their status. The second is a live search of tasks, but we've set the filter to only show the tasks that are complete. We'll keep this in list view and sort by done time so we can see tasks completed starting with the most recently completed tasks. This gives us a quick dashboard of what tasks are open and the relevant urgency, and a second of just tasks that are already done, highlighting the most recently completed items. If you want to customize your live searches even more, you can click on this icon, open the query editor, and use the query builder to make your searches even more advanced. Check out the link here and in the video description if you want to learn more about query building. Level six, customizing your tasks. So far, we've used Tana's built-in task tag to demonstrate task management. But if you want to, you can fully customize how your task tag works or even create your own new tags. In our case, let's start by customizing the native task tag. Right-click on the task tag on any of your existing tasks, then click Configure Tag. 
you'll now see a new area where you can customize your task tag from changing the tag name or color to adjusting the task fields. Click the content template section and check out the default content, which will contain the fields we talked about earlier. Click the new field button to add a new field. There are different field types, each of which work a little bit differently. Plain allows you to add text. Options give you different drop-down options you can add. Options from super tag gives you a drop-down of options based off any items tagged with that super tag. So for example, selecting from all the persons tagged in your database. Each of these might have different purposes for you, but will allow you to search for, filter and view your tasks in different ways going forward. You can also modify an existing field to change how it works by right-clicking to configure the field. Let's adjust the task status field. This is an options field, so if we modify this list of options, it'll give us new dropdowns for potential task statuses next time we make a task. Let's change these to the categories from the beginning of the video. Today, this week, later, done. And a new one, inbox. Let's go back and set the field so it defaults to inbox. That way, if we make a new task, it'll automatically categorize itself for the inbox until we adjust it further. Let's also scroll down to done state mapping. Make sure that map checkbox state to field value is on. Then in the map check to area, add the field task status by hitting the greater than arrow and selecting that field. Then set the field to done. This means that if we check the checkbox on a task, it'll automatically set its status to done. We'll do the same thing in the map unchecked section, but instead we'll map it to inbox. That way, if a complete task is unchecked, it'll return to the inbox status. We can add and adjust as many fields as we like to our task super tag, such as assigning a person to each task or a project that is relevant to. And the great thing about Tana is that once you set up the perfect fields for one super tag, you can create new super tags based on that existing tag. For example, if you have a specific type of task that need different fields than your existing task, you can create that new task, say onboarding task. Then when you configure that task, just go to the template and click extend from and select your task tag. This allows you to inherit all the details from the previous task tag and add any new fields that are specific to this type of task. And if you end up adjusting the main task tag ever, any other tag based on it will update too. Level seven, task dashboards. This combines everything we've learned, outlining, tags, fields, searches and views, so we can create dedicated dashboards that give us just the information we need when we need it. Let's design a dashboard based on our original setup, but using these more advanced features that we've learned. First, I'll go to my workspace home and add a task dashboard plus an icon. Then I'll create three notes Bank, Active, and Complete. Let's add descriptions to each. Bank contains tasks I could work on, Active are tasks I'm working on, and Complete is tasks I've finished. On the Bank, we'll add Inbox for new unsorted tasks, and Later for future tasks. I'll set up the Inbox as a search for tasks where the status field is Inbox. So we'll grab any new tasks from anywhere in Tana since that's the default status for each new task. I'll have a view be set as a table view with just the task status field visible. I'll set up Later as a search for tasks where the status field is Later in the same view setup. Then we'll change the entire bank section to the tabs view so we can click back and forth between inbox and later like this. Next, we'll work on the active section. This will just be a live search for all tasks, but we'll open the query editor to make some changes. We want this to only show tasks where the status is this week, today, or done. But the done items should only contain those that were completed during the current week. We'll then view this in card view, grouped by task status, and only display today, this week, and done. Okay, now we'll work on complete. This is just a live search for tasks, then we'll filter by status done. And sort by done time so the most recently completed items are on the top. Finally, we'll set the task dashboard to the side menu view. 
This way we can click between our three sections on the side easily. Now that our task dashboard is set up, here's how we use it. Every week we go to our inbox. Any items here should be categorized and moved from inbox to a new category. Once everything is sorted, click the clean up button to clear the inbox. Any tasks you add to Tana anywhere will flow here on their own, since inbox is the default status for each new task. Go to the later list next. For any items you'd like to work on this week or today, change the status now. Any new items you add here will automatically be tagged and set as later if looking at your list spark new ideas. Next, we'll go to our active board. Any items we want to work on today can be moved from the this week section to today. And when the items are checked as completed, they will immediately move to the done category. Just work on a few items a day. And when you're ready to plan for tomorrow, move new items from this week into today. So you can start tomorrow with your priorities ready to go. Finally, the done section can be used to review what you've completed or to brainstorm new ideas that need to be done based on what was done in the past. You might not want this level of precision, or you might want something more advanced using Tana's AI workflows or command buttons to take your dashboards even further. Whether you're tracking your progress at level one in Tana or working in level seven and beyond, having your tasks, projects, and workflows in a unified, intelligent workspace will allow you to stay in flow and accomplish more than you thought possible. And if you'd like to dive even deeper into more custom Tana dashboards and workflows for CTOs, creators, and project managers, check out this video next. I think you'll love it.